Hey guys, I want to talk to you guys about equipment today. As you know, uh, to make these videos, we have to use uh, all kinds of different gear to either record the sound, to transmit the sound, to transmit the signal and stuff. And this week, we have been using some new equipment. And so I want to talk to you about this little box. That's the new Teradek Video Pro. It's a camera top encoder. And so what that allows you to do is to get uh, your video out. Hey guys, so we are on our way to the independent filmmakers of the Inland Empire. Very high quality um, out into the web really quickly, like live. Is that what it's called? Iffy for short. Yeah. <laughs> and so, so you can have live events, sort of like a Google hang out we're live now so you guys need to be a witty and, and i don't know live right now uh -huh. or are this is how i lost my virginity sort of like what meerkat does or periscope the difference is of course is that this little guy right here doesn't limit your video quality to that of your whatever your iphone can do or whatever your webcam can do on your computer Hey guys, how are you? This uh, device allows you to connect high quality uh, DSLR cameras. I mean, you can go up to like movie cameras, you know, anything that has HDMI and you can pump that video right into here and this guy can stream it out in full HD quality over the internet. We are going to be streaming. Obviously, you're watching this streaming live out of the new Teradek uh, Video Pro. We first had a shoot uh, last Friday, um, shooting a piece for Rode microphones, um, in which we had a chance to use it. And the folks at Teradek were kind enough to show up and kind of let us use it and set it up for us because th we didn't know anything about it at the time. We got to stream a whole seminar uh, explaining how to use Rode mics at the uh, Musicians Institute in Hollywood. And it went over the air using this guy right here. So the cool thing about this encoder is that it can use several different connections to stream the signal out into the internet. So for example, you can use a Wi-Fi connection that might be available in your location, wherever you're at. But if that doesn't work or is too weak, then you can use a bunch of mobile devices. You can tie it up to four iPhones or mobile devices and it'll use the combined bandwidth of all those devices in order to stream out high quality video. Everything that happens as it happens, you can kind of see it with the you know, very small delay. And so it worked out really good for us on that shoot last week. And so we got to bring it home with us and use it here in the studio. And this week we haven't been actually been running a bunch of tests with it. This is live. Happening live here. Which other EV channel does this for you guys? Um, we connect it into our YouTube channel. If you're a subscriber, sorry, there's a bunch of these tests that we're putting out there. We have gotten really good results with it. Um, we've been able to stream out full HD over our Wi-Fi here. We were able to do HD stream at 720p over one single iPhone connection. And we even got, were able to do a 480 stream out in very, very challenging conditions last night over uh, in Riverside. Uh, this place that we went, it was downstairs. The Wi-Fi connection was uh, weak. The cellular connection was weak, yet we still managed to stream out some video. It actually looked pretty good, 480. It's not uh, very high resolution, but it looked actually pretty good. Other things that we've been doing this week is trying to make some little products so that we can tie this to your existing rig. As you know, the beauty of this thing is that you might be able to take it mobile. So if you can connect use your mobile devices, that means you can cover an event out there uh, on the go in the field. So you're probably gonna need some rigging to bring your camera, you know, sometimes, yeah, it could be as simple as maybe something to, you know, attach it up on top of your camera via the shoe mount, or if you're gonna be running, you know, like uh, monitors and, you know, microphones and all this other stuff, then you'll need something bigger than this, like sort of like this rig back behind me here. And so you'll need to find ways to uh, uh, attach it and plug it in and all that sort of stuff. And so let's go over those little products and the, some of the bits that we can use to be able to use uh, this product. All right, so here is the Video Pro. Pretty small, pretty light. How do you mount that to your camera? 
Well, if you're using a small setup, sort of like this GH4, you might uh, use one of our DSLR base plates. And so we, you just attach that on the bottom. And then to attach this, well, we could use uh, one of these little screws that we have. And this is our um, quick release rail block. So quick release rail block, this one allows you to just kind of put this guy anywhere without having to fumble too much. A couple turns and then you're ready to go. And so that's how you can attach the Video Pro to your camera. Of course, the, the Video Pro has uh, the internal battery and so it's self-powered. Let's turn it on here. But it's an internal battery, it's kind of small. So I, I bet you it won't last a long time. What if you need to shoot an all day event or something that's gonna go for many hours? You're gonna need an external battery. And for that, you can use one of our lithium batteries. This is uh, very nice because it's got a bunch of quarter 20 holes that will allow you to attach this. Using one of these little quarter 20 screws, we can just attach it to our battery. You can connect a cable and now this is ready to go for many, many hours. It's got a removable 15 millimeter rail block, which allows you to then mount this guy into your little rig. You can mount into your tripod and basically it will give you the ability to shoot and transmit out into the web for a long time. So what if you have to go mobile? What if you can't be on sticks and you need to follow someone uh, or your subject? Then you would have to use one uh, of our rigs like this one here. So let's set this guy up and let me show you how that would work. So we'll install the camera first and then we'll do the battery and all right, let's now connect all these cables. This is the signal. And there you go. Uh, you can put this and adjust it however you want. Uh, it's back here as, so it could serve as a counter balance for this rig. With this rig, you can shoot all day. Uh, it powers several things and um, it lets you use your camera together with the video pro now what if you don't have that battery or you want something a little bit more compact well for that let's take the battery out so this is just one of our regular rail blocks it's not the quick release version you could also mount it that way right it works sort of like the quick release but you'll have to slide this over the rails you could also use this a quick release rail block so that you can mount it vertical, right? If you want to go vertical, then this is how you would do it. And then all of a sudden you are lighter. Um, and if you don't have to shoot all day, then this, uh, the, the internal battery can power it, then you're good to go. Of course you can mount it uh, vertically, horizontally, um, even on top. If for some reason you have to fly it kind of this way, well, you can do that with this set of pieces that we can, uh, that we're gonna put in a kit so that you could attach your Video Pro into a standard, industry standard 15 millimeter rod system, whether it be a, a studio system or it be a handheld rig or a shoulder rig. All right, so we want to thank our friends at Teradek for letting us use this pre-production unit of their Video Pro. Uh, we had a lot of fun and I, we were very excited. I think there's a lot of situations where we can use this product um, for YouTubers like us and for bigger productions even. Thank you for letting us use it and running it through spaces. Hopefully uh, some of the feedback that we uh, offer could help you guys. Till next time, bye. Life, you go big or go home. 600 plus mile round trip on a garage built electric vehicle, it's quite the challenge. But attempting to do it while keeping up with a large caravan of gas powered vehicles, well, that's big. 
and it's exactly the challenge worthwhile for someone like me.